she might i think she's right actually why is it that when pro-life people are like life begins at conception and i think that it should be legally protected in the womb do uh, pro-choice people do this well what if an eight-year-old girl gets pregnant from assault and she has to have an abortion because of that get dunked on pro-lifers you must hate women and children and everyone everyone in existence i actually got pregnant from being assaulted for years when i was 15 i was a minor that's terrible and, um, i actually don't think that's a reason for abortion i actually think that children who are conceived in situations like that still have the right to live and are still people I and you know I'm kind of tired of being spoken over time and time again by these pro-choice women, these pundits who are using this for their political gain, who have never experienced this. I'm sick of it. You are dehumanizing children conceived in assault, including my baby, and silencing survivors who don't agree with you. Stop it. Listen, you're allowed to have your own perspective. And if that's your perspective that you, you, you know, that you think that you should carry your, you know, baby to full term after you're sexually assaulted, that's fine. You're entitled to your perspective. But the overwhelming majority of women don't want to carry their rapist's child. It's just that simple. Um, it's a horrible thing. I think I honestly do agree that there's not a single thing in the world that a man could experience that would ever come close to the indignity of being legally forced to carry your rapist's child. I just I agree. I don't think that there's any relatable experience. I there's just no relatable experience for men. I I just uh, you know it depends on what your values are. But to me, sexual assault is worse than murder in most cases. Um, that's just my personal belief. Uh, you know, there's no justifiable sexual assault, but there can be justifiable murders. So, you know, yeah, I mean, everybody's entitled to their, to their perspective and experience, but most women who have been assaulted don't want to carry their fucking rapist baby. It's just a con as it stands, assault survivors cannot ever move on from what happened to them ever. They can never, they're never going to forget. They're never going to forget. But just imagine having to look at your baby's face every single day and remember the face of the person who took the most from you that anyone has ever taken from you.